Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, <clears throat> I'm back. <gasps> I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Oh, this is my flip flops. So sorry. Um, I'm sorry, so sorry. Okay, I feel like I'm like, oh, I gotta break news to you guys, and I feel like I'm doing it the right way. I'm gonna keep from what I just witnessed with water. Okay, kind of the same scenario, it happens, different elements. I'm keeping all fire together this week not on patreon <clears throat> on patreon it will still be the same story but i will then pick up and re-clarify okay guarantee it will still pan out the same but you never know patreon's always a little different but right now i'm keeping fire together okay and I think it's because of the energy that's being harnessed this week. Um, I just think it's a better idea for everybody involved. So, again, I feel like I'm breaking the news to you. Like, I feel bad, which is which is weird. You know, like, um, when I used to be on Patreon, every other week I would group them and it was fine. Um, and I don't want to do it this time. <clears throat> so whatever I choose to do on YouTube, I'll do, clearly. Okay. But Patreon, I would definitely keep it, you know individuals for you guys um and that just might happen that way sometimes <clears throat> no matter the element okay it's just and obviously your read will be a bit longer i would think um <clears throat> but uh aries leo sag week three okay may 2020 2021 <clears throat> so something could be rolling back around i will tell you there's so many planets in retro right now you got jupiter going retro. You got Mercury. That's retro. Okay. Both of them are already going retro. Um, <clears throat> um, you're also dealing with Venus energy right now too. Strong. Okay. So you guys are fire. And if you go watch the weekly read that I did about how to work with this energy I guess it would make sense that I'm doing it this way, okay? Um, for some reason in my head, it doesn't quite make sense yet, but it, it does, and it's just the way it's going to get done, okay? So, again, um, what did I initially say? Oh, yeah, like, I feel like i got to break the news, okay? So... <clears throat> Right off the rip, that's a message. So let me just see if I can get something out of that with this. Don't let pride get in your way. I just saw that. Oh, shit. That's exactly what I just said. Like, I feel bad. So it totally makes sense on why I'm combining these. Okay. Um... Release, release that feeling though, because you you won't grow. Your soul, your soul will not grow. Okay, so, uh, fuck. I I mean, I said what I said. It is what it is. I, so it's like to me, it's like breaking. It's you're breaking the news. Okay. However, that's gonna go down for you again on Patreon. I will do individual zodiacs. <clears throat> so right now, for fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. This is your current energy. And I almost said Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and that came in in every single one of them. All right, so right now you want you want balance, but you know, it's, I can tell, like I can feel it is, um, it's overgiving. You're overgiving. I don't think you want to overgive. So maybe you, like, eh. Scale's going to be balanced, though. Yeah, see, that's like, it's not opposite energy. I feel like you overgave, you're overgiving. Watch your money. Because it might catch up to you real quick. Be like, wow, did I really overgive like that? All right, how he or she is feeling about you. <clears throat> how he or she is feeling about you. <clears throat>
Real, real fucking quiet right now. You're dealing with something real quiet, creepy, crawly, quiet. But man, do they want to talk? We're waiting on communication. <clears throat> This is, you know, learning lessons moving forward. So you already have something in mind, or they do already have something in mind. Looks like there's like a masculine in control of a situation, or vice versa. Yeah, see, like I said, they already have something in mind. Um, what you don't see coming or, you know, what you don't know. <clears throat> so this could be that yeah this is the end of competition somebody was competing somebody was saying stuck somebody was saying staying stuck and restricted because of guilt not wanting somebody else to you know <clears throat> get hurt or something so this is this is arguments for sure but this is also <sighs> like the end of like someone doesn't want to argue someone doesn't want to think about something in a negative way this might go two different ways hold on Hold up, and you got two fives, two sixes. Water had all that coming in too. So this is this is actually pushing through fear, having the strength. It's a mutual energy. I, this this is arguments. Someone was playing games. Something. In it to win it type energy that came out in Scorpio. Let me just go to current past real quick. King of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Princess of Wands. And some type of family dynamic. Um, all right, let me just go to possible outcome real quick. <clears throat> yeah, here comes the truth. Someone's going to want a second chance, forgiveness, clarity. So you got communication, truthful, honest communication coming in. Okay. Um, could be how you feel, how they feel. Um, That's, that's a whole lot of clarity coming at you. Let's go to the Six of Pence real quick. I don't, um, that just got real sticky. Here is Leo Sag. So whatever you manifest is it's like you're working hard to to win, to be triumphant. But again, you got, you know, Empress here. And that's why I almost said, like, that was that whole in it to win it. Um, dun, 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 dun. You already manifested something. You're more than capable of doing it. You might be real consumed with work, wanting to work on it, wanting to fix it, or somebody else did, but you're moving forward because you're feeding different energies. But this is all about coming into balance, and and you're going to come into balance with the chariot being right there. Yeah, see, something in the current position was being kept from you. Could have been a family dynamic. 
and it stressed someone out or somebody wants a new start and it's, it's now stressing them out and getting the best of them because this is this is new right so it was being kept something was being kept from someone it was being kept from the family that's where that guilt is taking place I don't know too many people in the picture Yeah, someone missed an opportunity because of another scenario that was already going down. And this is also that somebody wants to come in and offer another opportunity and they're stressed out because they know it's coming and it's like the truth needs to be revealed. But this is the current past. So this is realizing someone missed an opportunity too and stressing this energy out. You're going to be triumphant. You are moving forward. Like, this is very grounding energy. It's, it's regaining balance. Stability. So there's some arguments coming your way about some type of connection. It's almost like you have a connection with somebody. Can't let fear get in the way. But somebody else is left in this situation, which is tough. So someone's not going to like your decisions. Okay, yeah, see, somebody is going in a new spot. Yeah, see, there it is again. Someone's choosing new and somebody else is not going to like your decision. Okay. Because um, these are two different energies. You got, you got one aligning in alignment and you got the zero is coming into alignment. You don't see it coming. Um... And then you got mirroring each other. So again, mutual. You still got some old wounds to work out though. <clears throat> Someone might owe you an apology too. But see, yeah, no, it's, it's complete different energy. You know, options, conventional, stringing along, one night stands. So somebody came in. At some point with someone, whether you were dating, in a relationship, however it's going to roll with you guys. It is leaving somebody in that situation. Okay. Um, whether that was the one night stand, friends with benefits, or the person that was already together with somebody. It, you got to figure out who you are. But this is like the end of games competition. Like it's, it's tiring, exhausting. It's like it's enough choosing a path. Having the strength to go after something mutual. But then somebody is left out of a situation. So two people want the same thing and somebody else is not going to be happy about a situation. You know, I just said in general, you know, so it's like reminiscing, missing you, nostalgia, but making the memories. Okay, so this is going on a new journey and choosing. No more competition, no more arguing, like putting it to rest. Um, there's a gap somewhere. I don't know where it is. There's been a gap of time. There's, there's something with a gap. I don't know what that means. But there's a gap in this reading. I just asked about the chariot, you know, being lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, changing, healing, moving forward. So it's a given. It's a given. Um... Let's see what this bottom one is, this four cups. Let's see if this is um, 
well, it's not really telling me. She's saying sudden change, transformation. So I don't know if somebody at one point thought kind of the grass was greener, went in a different direction. Let's give it another go. Yada, yada, yada. So many people in the picture. But now this energy is stressed out. Like it has to come out. It's like the tower moment. It's sudden. It's out of the blue. Like this conversation, whatever this is, like, I, like again, what did I say in the beginning? I should have wrote it down. Like I was, I struggling. Like I felt bad, like, oh yeah, having to break the news. So it's like in your head right now, you'd be like, I have no idea what she's talking about. But again, it's, it's sudden. Let me just write this down. For a majority of you, this already currently just happened. And now you're regaining the balance. You're trying to work out the kinks, you know, odds and ends. It's like in it to win it, but I feel like in it to win it in a more positive way compared to the in it a win it that I read over here in one of the water signs. Okay. Um, so I don't know how you're going to feel because it's almost like you're going to hear something too. And it's kind of this energy. It's like mutual with you and someone having the strength to, you know, go about it, to stop the competition, stop the argument, like just deal with the scenario, have the strength, getting yourself out of something that wasn't good because the devil is always lurking when strength comes out and going in a new direction. Like that truth, it's, it's coming to you. And then it's like second chances, forgiving. And someone feels awful about how it's being brought about for some reason. Like, it just brought me back to the gap. I don't know what that is. Like, there's a gap. There's like a gap of time. And it's like somebody wasn't telling you something. You know, try to work on something else. Didn't work out. And it's, it's not just them. It's like they were just concentrated on one thing, one thing only, or like main priorities, like family, work, love. I mean, love was not a priority here. Is it looks like more work or family dynamic for sure. So the energy is calmer. Okay, so how he or she is feeling, somebody wants to communicate. Somebody wants that new stat. This is like learning, moving forward slowly but surely. You have something under wraps though. Yeah, but see again, here's six six. I have six six six. That's a good thing. But that just goes to um show how many voids are open right now too um something's going in your favor you got two cards of triumph now something is definitely going in your favor there's no question you're just trying to think about how to do it tell me about this prince of pence so right now it's more or less okay, okay how do i offer what do i offer when do i offer having the confidence to offer when to reach out, yeah, justice. It's all about balance. That's why I grouped you guys, is because that, that was that energy that was coming in this week. Teamwork, wanting to work together, wanting to do this, wanting to make it work. Well, this is news of somebody going in a new direction, confident, Wanting to win, balancing out the scales, wanting to work together. So somebody wants to work together with you. Yeah, getting that clarity. Having the confidence to do it, finding the balance. self-worth, shadow work. So you'd already you'd already went through that then transitioning obstacles, learning expansion, new phase, preparing for union, which we kind of saw. And it's for some of you it, it really is it is sudden. It's like it was stressing somebody out or it was just like it already came in for a majority of you. If not, it's it's right around the corner. But this is positive. It's it's moving forward. Um it's like, it's almost like having a new spiritual contract too. 
See, that's why that other energy was there, codependency. But I think this is more fear of abandoning issues. It's like the chaser, right? Like not knowing how to like work on one thing and not the other. But it's, it's like the tower. Everything needs to crash and get rebuilt no matter who you are, family member, friends. It, you know what I mean? That's It's just how the ball rolls. So... There's a situation that's clearly going to involve other people. There's is so, uh, so it's almost like look at. I was just going to say almost like dealing with your comic. There it is. But triggers letting it go, still having to work together, but you can't. You have to find that balance. And I see there's something here that I'm not I'm not liking because this sits with the karmic. But it's it's almost like justice. Like again, it was that whole like win it to in it to win it, but <laughs> it's oh it's it's tough. So this is breaking free from something that was toxic. Okay, following your destiny. Yeah, see breaking free. Could be going in a new direction, but it's it's breaking free. It was karmic. It was toxic. It, like, it was faded. However something went down, it was faded. And you did have the Empress. Now you have the Empress. So I don't know if there was a marriage there. Something karmic. And you're just kind of, like, hoping that everybody can work together, be on the same... Like, there's something unrealistic about that. That's what I'm saying. It's like, it's like breaking the news. So... I don't know if you're breaking the news to somebody about a karmic situation that somebody didn't know because there was a gap, whatever that means. It, like, There was, whether you're extremely intuitive or not having those cards, there was still a gap where somebody was not telling you something or vice versa. There was still a gap. And there's also a situation here, too, is someone could have possibly moved away from a situation, is now happy, independent, stands in the confidence, the more, the nine of pence, self-work, self-worth. You know what I mean? Like, healing, moving forward from a shitty fucking ass scenario. And you're now transcending obstacles. But see, again, it's preparing for union. See, it's almost like you can't escape the six of pence. So it's it's like good and bad. It's it's like um, it's a dark and a light, right? But mastering it, figuring it out, being triumphant. So here comes some truth. If it hasn't come yet, truth, conversations, um, communication, clarity. It's coming to light. Yeah, see, it's like trans, it's transforming, it's transmuting, it's, um, it's coming to light. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but no, this, this is like, um, wanting to talk about it. Yeah, see, this is wanting to have a commitment, wanting to possibly move in together, wanting more. Like, this is somebody who wants to transform a situation because of a missed opportunity. Wanting to talk about it, see? Yeah, there you go. It's funny because this, these two opportunities came out in the last water I just did that I said you should probably go watch. You know, so it, it's either speaking the truth to a karmic situation, you know, it's, it's over, going in a new direction, starting something new. Whatever this is, like, this is good news. You're going to be happy because something can be transformed here. 
So it looks like you might give someone a second chance. Yeah, see the love is seven of swords, five of Yeah, see, and now we're right back to that. Somebody was in it to win it. So somebody was also lying. Again, different dynamics, different dynamics, different dynamic, different dynamic. That's because there was so many people in the picture. This is making a choice, making a final judgment call. This could even feeling um, defeated, but it, it's not, and it's and it's triumphant. Like there is a win here. There is a massive gain for a group of you. In others of you, there's a karmic situation, and it's, it's it is not going to be a game, and you are in it to win it for the wrong reasons. Um. Someone's going to be really happy and somebody is not going to be happy. Yeah, not today. Not dealing with the hurt, avoiding conversations, still angry. See, because it was in it to win it. So someone's going to be pissed as you move forward, they're going to be pissed and you actually feel bad. This is like more of like a sensitive energy, but like, don't feel bad. Like, um, you know, it's like breaking the news and now you feel guilty or, you know, don't, that's like fear. Don't let fear stop you either. Or have somebody make you feel bad about a choice because there is a situation here, you know, it's like wanting a second chance, but didn't get it. it's like not dealing with the hurt, avoiding a conversation, still angry. Still wanting to block a scenario. But if you ask me, this can't be blocked. So it but the the truth has to the truth has to come out of the direction you're you're taking, you know. Um, whether you choose to be by yourself, more independent, like no matter what direction you're taking, like don't try to don't try to um hold on, that's your card, but don't try to um not speak the truth what is this healing heart yeah healing from a toxic heartache freedom from a toxic relationship or an addiction right so something blocked this but you're you're healing you know you're in the process you're good you're good to go you're good to move forward it won't slow you down Don't feel bad. It's like you already broke the news or it's like breaking the news. You can't feel bad if it's doing what's best for you, what your self-worth. You'll always win in the end. You'll always be triumphant. And that's why I say I'm being lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapting, change, and healing. As long as it's done the right way, you're good. You do have an ex or a karmic that is not happy about a situation, okay? And is not going to let go very easily. It just, it is what it is. Someone didn't want you going in a certain direction, the direction you're about to choose. But that's, that's okay, it's life. Not everyone's always happy with me and the decisions I make. Solitude. Oh, I didn't want it though. Yeah, I wanted that. I just wanted that pile. I didn't want that yet. But for some of you, it's really going within. Again, it's it's karmic. Like somebody is not going to be happy about this situation. Like I'm talking, if you were dealing with the energy that I got out of water, Pissed. Yeah, see, sed attraction, seduction, hooking up, temptation, third party interference, self absorb, narcissist, one sided situation. This, this energy has been blocking. 
and does not want to accept, but it's, it's over. So I don't think you need to worry about it. I feel like if some of you, it already took place. Others of you, it's taking place. But this is having self-worth, you know, doing what's best for you. And, you know, it's, it's, it's triumphant energy. Like, like you, like this is a gain. You're gaining something by leaving a karmic situation. You might not even end up with this person per se, because some of you are pretty good just being solid and on your own after getting out of something toxic. Somebody else could have came into the picture, somebody found out, that's what broke up the comic, but it doesn't mean you go back to that other one, because that other one could simply be a catalyst. It really just depends on how it's going to roll for you, okay? Um, the, the karmic situation, it, there's, it's, it's no going back, so if you're going to stay in a situation and you're still going to restrict yourself and hold back, then, you know, shame on you, you're not learning lessons. But it looks like this is realizing, I want brand new, I want this, I need something solid, something stable. Because it was already missed. So you picked up on the lesson, which is good. You do want something solid, stable, secure. You don't want arguing lies. It is, it is, yeah. If you don't make these choices... Karma will come in and do it for you. It's judgment. You have to make a judgment call this this week. If you don't, you're screwed. It looks like you already did, though. That's why I said that it's karmic. So it's already being done. And just like water, it's uh, it's good. It's kind of like how I said what was going to happen last week with certain stuff, and it was a lot of karmic stuff being like dismissed or swept under the rug. It's Mercury, guys. It's going to come back. Whatever you swept into the rug is going to come back whether you want to deal with it or not. You know, but this is the energy of just being pissed off. Like, eh, not today. But you can't do that. If somebody else wants to do that in a karmic situation, let them. It shouldn't affect you. But don't, some of you, you're allowing it to affect you. Because even I came in and I struggled to tell you that I was going to group your read. And this is a free reading, so I shouldn't struggle, but that just goes, I know I have a good heart. So that just goes to show the person that's going through this has a tremendous, huge heart, Doesn't didn't want to hurt someone else, but it's like in it to win it for the wrong reasons, and then someone's in it to win it for the right reasons. You know, extremely independent, doing the right thing, standing in the moors, going after what they want. You know, so... It's like having to break the news. So I don't know. It's like you already broke the news to somebody. And now if there is somebody else in the picture. Because didn't you have something about coming into union possibly? Yeah, son and coming into union. So for those who have someone else. I don't know if you you got to break the news to them. And you might be worried about it. They could still try to be heal, healing from a situation. Some of you are definitely coming together with somebody and following your heart and your soul. And it's, it's like rewards. Um, new spiritual contract for some of you. Others of you, it's the end of a karmic. But you're going to start feeling good. That's the nice thing I like about this week's energy. So it does think you do have a karmic situation, but it's, it's like over. But it also blocked. You You have no choice but to communicate with this energy. But this energy wants to keep coming in and working on things. And it's like, you can't. It's comic. And, the, and when they do want to work on it, it's like they don't even give it their all. That's why I knew something here didn't feel right. I don't know if someone was giving too much to somebody else. Okay, let's see what this six of wands is. Grief summer. So something's been going down since summer. Regret. It's, it's all this. It's like you got yourself in a sticky ass fucking scenario thinking you were going to win. Things were going to go in your direction. And they didn't. But you also learned a lesson in between and that's the way it was supposed to go down. Because now you're you're moving forward. It's it's the chariot. It's like a congratulations. It's triumphant. Like you you will not 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 succeed if that makes sense. There was another one stuck to that. I just want one. Yeah, there was definitely a block. 
See, I knew that energy didn't feel right. You gave you gave more to one situation that was one-sided than you did. You definitely missed an opportunity. Opportunities came and, and went with multiple people that you were dating, seeing, talking to. But that's a wrap, too. But on top of that, you got the dragonfly. So again, it's you're moving forward. No matter who that is, the one you're coming into union with, or it's the comic, is you know, finding out things, changing, adapting, changing, healing, moving forward. You're moving forward regardless. So if there was a third party scenario, it's done, it's over. You don't need to worry about it. Let them deal with their things. You and the other person can, you know, slowly do your thing. Because the, the karmic's not going away. It's the three of pence. The karmic situation is going to go away. This is relentless energy, though. It is an energy that kept blocking. But you also allowed yourself to feel restricted. You know? And that's how I know it's like a good heart energy. Because... It's like not ha like not having the intentions on hurting, not wanting to, but like this is something that should have been done last summer. You're going a whole nother cycle right now again, all, all the way around the mountain again. Something that could have already been hashed out. And again, it doesn't all have to be lovers, guys. This could just be what's going down at work. Your friends, family, friendships. Sometimes there's just too many people in the picture, too many people giving their opinion. This one's not going to stop giving her opinion, though, I'll tell you that. In due time, but it's, it's one-sided. And it's like someone's seeing it, something's coming to light. So do not let guilt stop you is she a lesson if you let guilt stop you like yes you you know i release any benefit that no longer assists my soul's growth so it's like don't feel guilty this was something was one-sided so i don't know if you need to accept that but whatever this will was will not grow any further it, it's it's not a thing and you certainly won't grow or mature from that situation either unless you pick yourself up you deal with the guilt you deal with the grief and you move forward and grow in a new direction evolve accept change move forward so that's a lesson so my fire signs please be <clears throat> real careful because it's like still holding back another of you if this is a karmic It's just over. Things were kosher. And now all of a sudden that someone's moving forward. Trust me, things are not going to be kosher. Because this energy doesn't want this energy with the other energy. Anywho, <clears throat> tell me about... Um, just want the best advice for the guilt. I mean, I just gave it to you. You, you stay in a shitty situation. You stay stuck. You keep holding back. You, you're not getting anywhere. You're not doing anything to benefit yourself. You're making a situation worse. Yeah, you got to change your perspective here. You know, um, when it comes to this connection, you have mutual love. See, this is the wheel of fortune. It's it's destined. It's fated. You know, it's staying in this scenario, you will not grow. You will not move. You will not budge. It looks like a majority of you, you're moving. You're budging. Something's definitely going to go in your direction. It's the wheel of fortune. It's also destined and fated. You have something destined and fated. Is, is the way you're looking at it. Or this is saying, this is all about sacrificing. You have to make a sacrifice to have what you really want. You might have thought that's what you really wanted because it made sense. But this is love. There's no love coming up in this scenario. There's no love coming up in this scenario. There's no love coming up in any of these scenarios. Except for that one person. That it's so mutual. And now you want to come in and stabilize it. 
to me, is you were also hiding. You let a situation end. You were hiding that you wanted to be in a commitment. You wanted to be in a relationship. So somebody was basically saying, I just want to be friends or I want to stay single, but this is, no, this is somebody who definitely wants more and this is what that will end up in is a lot more. So you have to accept change. You have to make sacrifices to have what you truly want. So don't sit in that. I get it. You clearly have a terrific heart, but you're also dealing with another person that I don't think you realize it. It's one-sided. One-sided. It's not the same. There's nothing mutual. All you guys have is probably time, contentment, routine, not wanting to let go, being scared, letting things other things interfere, always wanting to be that partner, having teamwork. It is... It's kind of an unrealistic situation, not wanting things to crash and burn because you think they're in a better place, but things already crashed and burned. But instead of really resolving the bigger problem, you never did because it was swept under the rug and that was coming back around for reevaluation, you know. <sighs> so, you know, if you guys have that, you have to change how you're thinking. You have to sacrifice. And it's like something, you got two cards of triumph. That's how I know someone's got an amazing heart. And if this has to do with the comic, that's just them being like, what the fuck? Something didn't go in my direction. Because that other energy that I was reading was definitely in it to win it for the wrong fucking reasons. That was for the karmic, the investment, where you were investing. Yeah, see, they somebody kept a blind eye. Somebody didn't want to see something. But see, now they have no choice. Everything changes. With that energy coming in this week, with that Ace of Wands, everything's changing, coming into alignment. And with the karmic, it's at one person, too. Um, one person, too. They just, they didn't want to see it. They always thought they would win. Battle it out. They didn't want to lose an investment. Now everything changes. That's, that's coming to light. That's because somebody go, went within and saw the light. So it has no choice but to come to light. Um. All right, I think I'm going to go on to Patreon. Yeah, I was just going to say, what's next? Well, here comes the sun. It's all right. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Somebody is bugging out about how to have a new start right here because if something's already over. Because the truth's not coming out. Somebody wasn't even being truthful with what they wanted. They knew what they wanted, but they couldn't be honest with themselves because somebody has a hard time accepting change. So somebody obviously must have realized at some point that something is not moving and growing. I tried. It didn't work. This one wants to try again but for the wrong reasons. And if if you and the karmic are, are good and you're not together, but it's still karmic and you guys will work on it and figure it out as time goes, this is still somebody that's going to lose their shit if they haven't already lost their shit. They're still going to try to figure out how to come in, seduce you, look better around you. I wouldn't worry about it. There's, there's no love. Um... There's so much more I just saw, but I'm going to save that for Patreon. Um, I'm not taking away from you, trust me. <clears throat> okay. I love you guys. This is, it's good. It's positive. You're, you're trying to figure out the balance. Like, this is a win. Like, it's like you don't even see it coming. Don't worry about the interference. Well, easier said than done, right? But... It's one-sided. It, it really is. Can't get that to focus right now. But self-absorbed narcissism or one-sided relationship. You know, it's... This is either I'm going to whoever stepped in or I'm going back to the family and making it work. It's one. There's no in-between. 
But right now it's like that opportunity is not there. Like somebody was like, wants that, but like bored with that. And then missed an opportunity because they went back to something. So somebody now needs the strength to come in and the competition, go in a new direction, make new memories. Stabilize situations. Get grounded again. Take care of yourself. You're, you're about to transform your life in a very positive, positive direction. Don't let that get the best of you. That, that is in your control. Yeah, the best way to accept a challenge is, is to learn from the situation, push through. To not procrastinate. I think you're out of that. I think you sat in procrastination for so long, it caused that. You gotta push through. It's a challenge, it's an obstacle, but yeah. So isn't life. Push through. You can either push through and have a brand new life. Happiest card in the deck with somebody who mutually feels the same way, long-term, potential, you name it. It's the happiest kind in the deck with a mutual feeling, okay? You have to push through, get through this challenge. Or you can sit in that and let somebody else, you know, keep interfering with your own happiness and what you truly want, what type of outcome you want for a situation and this could be a, a big wake-up call and it could be this person's wake-up call that there's somebody else that's it they need to suck it up and stop catering so I can look at that each way too but this is a more positive read than a negative read this is pushing through yeah I'm learning that endings and the beginnings Again, watch that pride. I think I said that right in the beginning. But again, transforming your life. But you're going to be so much more solid, happy, secure. Something grounded. It's, it's good. I love you guys. See you on Patreon.